Okay, so here we are in um, Substance Painter, and let's set up our FPS files. So I'm going to go into File, I'm going to make a new project, and because um, I want it to be pretty, I'm going to use this PVR Metal Roughness High Quality. And we want to select our low res mesh. So let's do that. Low. Everything else is fine, so we can OK that. And that will bring our low res mesh into a substance painter. And you can see here in the texture set list, we've got our two different sets. So if I click on this dot, you can see that we can hide uh, the metal and work on that separately. Then uh, we're going to import our and bake our low res. Uh, sorry, our high res model. So what we need to go into is we need to go into texture set settings here, and then just scroll down a little bit. We've got this bake textures button, and then what we want to do is this. So let's grab our high poly mesh, high, and because we are using separate objects, we want to make sure they are matched by name. So change that to match by name. Then we want to go in here into ID and we set up our separate materials. We just want to make sure that that is set to material color and not anything else. Um, that's all good. And then once that's all set up, we can bake our main textures. So the baking's all finished. Now what can we do? So because we've got our separate um, IDs, we can first of all separate out the eyes and the body. So let's do that. So I'm going to go into the shelf. Uh, I'm just going to drag on a smart material. So there's a skin smart material here, which I'm just going to start off with. Um, so I don't want to do a lot of proper um, texturing here. I think that's a different tutorial, but we're just going to set up the mask so that you can see how they work. So I'm just dragging the skin face. And you can see that makes everything fleshy including the eyes so now what I want to do is make sure that I leverage some of the masks that we've got so I'm just going to make a new fill there very quickly for the eyes and we're going to add a black mask like that and we are going to right click on here and we're going to add a color selection and I can pick the color and you can see that everything changes. So we've got the uh, blue for our eye color and the red for everything else. We'll just pick that and you can see that's nicely separated out of the eyes. Um, one thing to note is that even though our eye color is white, uh, we've got some of the bumpiness from the other materials. So what we want to do is um, we just want to fix that. So the two areas in which we can fix it, we want to go down to the height and we're just going to change that from um, this linear dodge and just set that to normal and you see that makes you get, go smooth now and we should also go down into normal and we'll just turn that into normal as well so that's now perfectly smooth and we can go in and we can tweak the fill there like adjust the color let's make it uh, blue or something let's make it blue and super shiny Cool. Uh, and then our metal areas are on a separate material, completely separate material, so we can just go into that texture set here. And you can see we get a separate set of UV maps. So again, I can just drag on some sort of metal material onto there. Uh, let's choose, like, I guess gold. So we can just drag that up there. And that will change all those materials to gold. Uh, well, I look forward to seeing what you guys can do with this, uh, and hopefully I'll have a bit more of a polished alien skin um, by the time I next talk to you.